Member Le Leader, third party. Well, speaker, on December 23, 2013, th the UN adopted the Declaration to Proclaim 2014 to 2025 the International Decade for People of African Descent. Let me begin by saying, and I'm not proud to say this, that I did not know that we are more than halfway through this decade that is meant to promote respect, protection, and fulfillment of all human rights and fundamental freedoms for people of African descent. On Monday evening, I listened with interest to the speakers on a call organized by the African Arts and Culture Society as they discussed the importance of this decade. One speaker, Richard Sharp, who is with the Dream Legacy Foundation, which fosters black entrepreneurship across Canada, explains so clearly why there needs to be a commitment to support black businesses in Canada. Quote, because the white community has had a 400-year head start, he said. As pointed out by Stephanie Allen with Hogan's Allen Alley Society, black people have been an integral part of BC's history as has racist community planning that has displaced black people and erased the contributions of black communities to BC's history. This is documented in the film, Return to, H to Hogan's Alley, which tells the story of the vibrant, lively community that was literally demolished to make way for the Georgia and Dunsmuir viaducts. Our collective history is diminished when communities and cultures are erased. It's essential to have uncomfortable conversations and actively take steps to educate ourselves, to truly understand the great tapestry of our past and the black, indigenous, Asian, Central and South American communities who are intrinsic to who we have been and who we are today in this province. As a concrete step, we can begin with the province of BC formally recognizing the international decade for people of African descent and to work with communities of African descent to develop a plan to combat anti-black racism in our province. Systemic racism exists in BC, and it will take systemic change to ensure that we move beyond words to achieve the outcomes that we all wish to see. Let's take the steps to demonstrate that we truly do believe that black lives matter.